you're running Proxmox and you want to do to you convert, it could not be any simpler. It could not be. It's one line copy and paste that you follow the to you convert instructions, even putting on a, uh, the custom uh, firmware, even easier. Whiskers, he is so helpful with making scripts for guys like me who, you know, can get on a Linux command line and just cause themselves a bunch of grief if they're, if they're left to their own devices. So uh, he does a great job of putting together scripts that you can just put in this line of text and it will just, boom, it'll do this thing for you. And he's just done a really fantastic job. And he's done it now for Tuya Convert to make a container in Proxmox. Pretty sweet, right? Well, if you have Tuya devices, don't go to the Tuya app and add new devices. So they want to stop us from being able to swap the firmware out. So the guys that made Tuya Convert are already working on it per Tollbringer, but for now, it may block you if you do that. You, if, if you update the latest firmware on your Tuya devices, it may block it. So, so you go to your Proxmox, you grab your main Proxmox box. I love saying that too, by the way. It's a Fox and Socks Proxmox box. <laughs> We're gonna open up the shell, and I'm gonna use this one so that I can copy and paste. All right, and then I'm gonna go to Whiskers Repo. Start here and just grab this whole thing. Copy back to this guy. Paste. Did you follow that? Okay. Now, enter. And away it goes. Now we can totally get distracted while this thing does its business. Whiskers can make a comment maybe about what you might need to do if you if the machine you're running Proxmox on doesn't have a Wi-Fi card or whatever, or if you don't have the right drivers for it. You have to make sure that part's working first. And then which interface would I like? There's only one, zero. So to say my next ID is 107. Great. That might be all I have to do. Oh, it's done. It went a lot faster this time. I think, I think last time it had to download some stuff that now it already has. So, okay. So now we're here and it has installed once it's completed. And we know that this is uh, CT ID is 107. Click this guy and just hit start. And then I can open a console so I can see what it's doing. And there you go. And it tells me, here's the login. Login with the following credentials. Root. Password to you. Bingo. Okay, here we go. First, we need to say, yes, I understand. You could brick my device. I understand, fair enough. Now we need a device to be connected to that vtrust flash SSID. So you can't see it over here, but laptops over here. Wi-Fi is there, vtrust ID uh, opened in there. I didn't copy the firmware yet. You're right, let's do that. Aha, uh aha. -huh. Uh -huh. And is this, this is, We got it. Okay, and this is the screen that I was trying to uh, point you to. It's got the IP address. You could have typed in that IP address oh, into your okay. Explorer. Oh, and then okay. that's also another way that you can get access to it. This one I could have used for Bitvice or whatever, right? Or I could have just put this in, in the Explorer here and it would have done the same thing. Okay, so now we're here to you convert. And then if I wanted to put a bin file, where do I put it? Do I put it in files? Yes, under files. Okay, and then there's thirdparty.bin. So just go ahead and put in any new ones in there. You don't need to modify any of this. If you modify it, it can change how the script is working. I built the script so that it is straight up however to you convert creates it. I'm just shoving it in a container and I added a nice little wrapper so that way you can start the, the script and start stop the script easily. So just add any new bins in there and then it'll be listed automatically as an option to flash. Okay. So we're just going to put this over here. Easy. Okay, great. Now we're ready. We're going to type yes. And then we're going to get this set up over here. Yep. Okay. That's on vTrust. Uh, now I need to port and smart, uh, put your IOT device in and get it flashing. Okay, it's flashing. So now we're going to press enter. Okay, so now we want to flash a third party firmware, correct? So if I hit three, it's going to give me a list. Yes. Awesome. So now we're going to do Tasmoda generic Wi Fi. You did make it tremendously simple. Thank you. That's it. You're done. When 
you select the bin to push. It instructs the Geo device to pull the bin. My script will sit there and wait, hopefully long enough for the bin to be downloaded, and then it just exits. So oh. this is the expected response. So that way it gives you oh. back the login information and you can just start the script over again just by signing in and it'll restart the script and it's, you know, from the ground zero again. Okay, cool. So now I should be able to, oh, there it is, Sonoff, found it. Okay, I'm connecting to this to the Wi-Fi for this new plug. Yep, there it is. Now I can put my Wi-Fi in. Save that. It's going to restart and we're going to be in business. Yes, that's great. That was fantastic. So I did this today. I did this Proxmox Tuya container setup and I flashed a plug. Which one was it? It was this one. And then I couldn't connect to it. It just didn't broadcast. Everything looked fine on this on the flash, but it just didn't broadcast the Sonoff SSID for me to connect to and put my information in. The AP mode Wi-Fi didn't broadcast. And I don't know why. Without the AP mode, I can't connect it to my Wi-Fi unless, unless I break it open. And that's the whole point of doing this, this to you convert is we're trying not to break these open because there's such a pain in the rump to get into. Okay. So let's see, let's see what does, what the bricked one does. Should we try the bricked one? How are we going to get it into programming mode though, guys? That's, I'm just, I'm, I don't know how that's going to work. We'll give it a try, huh? What do you think? Think it'll work? I was working with Tollbringer. We had a situation like this. What basically you just plug it in, and I guess it was still in the ready to flash state. Okay. So instead of uh, bring up the device on the that firmware Wi-Fi access point, I don't know what the thing's called, the and then just click OK, and it should yeah the VTrust correct, and then just tell it to scan, and it should populate automatically if it's still in a flashable state. Trying to find VTrust. Oh, you have to start the script again. Oh, and if you if you mess up the password, you can't back up and put it in right. Now, I'm just going to plug in the device right now, huh? So if I have one of these that's bricked, I go to this point and then plug it in and see what happens. Well, you should. You have to hit, uh, you have to type yes, enter, and then it'll bring up the access point, and you can join the VTrust access point. Okay, it's connected to VTrust. Yep, all right. So now we'll hit enter. And so... Oh, it's working. Yeah. So it's still not a bricked. State. Yes. 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 If it's mid flash, it will connect almost immediately. Not a lot of dots. There you go. Will, you are on it. Oh, Will is Tollbringer. Oh, okay. <laughs> we can use the script directly on Ubuntu. No, you need Proxmox, Jaime. You need Proxmox. But if you're using Ubuntu, you, you can just do, go straight to the to you convert GitHub and use that. All right. So now I want to do third party again. And now I want to use that Travis's Tasmoda again. Oh my gosh, I'm just going to flash the heck out of everything. Look at this. That's my bin of that's my bin of plugs. Some of them are flashed already, but a lot of them are not. So with this, flashing all night long. No cameras at your flashing party, please. <laughs> <laughs> I've got lots of cameras. We, I've got like three cameras in my office right now. So when I have a flash party, everybody knows. <laughs> All right. So now I should be able to see. There it is. It's a new, a new Sonoff Wi-Fi popped up. Yep, there it is. We are in business. Paul, Paul Bringer was essential in making this happen because I don't have any devices or even a Wi-Fi device hooked up to my Foxbox box. So I spent a lot of time just borrowing his equipment to test my scripts out. Um, he was very patient with me, so <laughs> give some credit to him. Tollbringer, did you, you get you catch that? You just got all the credit. Good job. Thanks for all your help. Very important, he says. This is Tollbringer again. Once flashed to third party, no Tuya app flashing back is possible. The backup file cannot be used for recovery, not through Tuya Convert, and also not through Serial. Okay. So this is the point of no return, huh? When you do a when you do the third party bin file, you're not you're not going back to anything else, but that's okay. What if you need to flash it again? I think you can you can flash it again. Once you have Tasmoda on it, you can update it through Tasmoda. You can compile a binary file of ESP home. So you can make an ESP home binary file and use Tasmoda firmware updating process to put any binary file on there. 
that will work. And so an ESP home binary file that's made to work with something like this, you could update that through the Tasmoda web interface as a firmware well, update. But to continue on that, you can actually use this to your convert software. If you had an ESP home binary, you could drop it in the same folder, flash it, and it'll pull into ESP home as well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So it could, you just flash it with directly with an ESP home binary. Right. Oh, if you to wanted to go those. through that process just to show others, I mean, that would, that would be another test that you could go through. Yep. And that's what Falterman here just said. You got it. You can put ES, uh, ESP home directly. Yes, you can. Wow. I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to take this one that I bricked the other day. Yep. And I'm going to try and rescue it. Same way we'd rescued this other one. All right. So let's do it. I'm going to try and stay focused. We're going to see if we can stay focused for like 30 seconds or maybe a couple minutes. <laughs> okay. We're going to go log into this. And then we're going to put in password. And now it's going to say yes and enter. And then we're going to connect over here to vTrust. Okay, we're connected to vTrust. Here goes the bricked module, plugging it in. Okay, so that thing's plugged in and it's not blinking. But if I hit enter and it's kind of halfway through programming mode, then it should start working. There it goes. Look at that beautifulness. Awesome. We are in business. The bricked is failed flashes and leaves it in flash mode. Does the stage one and stage two. After stage one, it might fail. Redo, convert, and it will recover 99% of the time. Will, that is wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have to tell you, Whiskers is a perfectionist and really wanted to make sure his script addressed all potential situations. We are all very lucky to have him in our on our team. Way to go, Whiskers. Did you hear that? That was that was Tollbringer. Yeah, it's true. It's true. And the crowd screams, stickers, stickers. Okay. Whiskers, I'm going to, I'm going to hang up. Okay. Thanks for your help, man. Sounds good. Again, appreciate it. Glad we finally got this done. We've tried a few times, right? Tried to get it on the stream even. And uh, I'm glad we finally got it done. It was super successful too, despite all my distractions. So way to go. That's a testament to how thorough you were and how, and how good this is. So we'll make sure to get the word out that uh, if you're running Proxmox and you want to do two, you convert. It's, it's, it could not be any simpler. It could not be. It's one line copy and paste that you follow the two you convert instructions and uh, even putting on a, uh, the custom uh, firmware even easier. So, hey, thanks again, Whiskers. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang up. All right. Sounds great. Thanks. Take care, man. See ya. Okay, babies. You ready, guys? Yeah. All right. Yeah. As always, no, thanks, thanks for watching. watching. Till next, next time. time. Adios. Happy Wednesday, everybody. See you later. Thanks for being here. That was a fun time.